welcome back Toff later folks Jeff OG and test subject Doug out here with you today with something that was sent to us by the Idahoan show if you haven't already seen the Idahoan show go over there and check out his channel he does a lot of really cool uh, little backyard projects hey he sent us a uh, around that he calls the the shooting star 2 it's a one and a half ounce lead slug shaped like a uh, Kind of like an old-timey Buck Rogers rocket with little fins on it. Jeff's going to show you a little picture of it here sitting on the table. Um, his test results were a little bit uh, underwhelming. We're going to give him a try out of the old mass accelerator today. Doug's gonna, Doug has offered to catch them for us. Uh, we're going to see how stable they fly, how, how well they do against uh, some body armor and some various targets like we always do. So we appreciate you guys stopping by. Let's throw them in the towel flater accelerator and uh, send them down range. Ah, we're about 15 yards. Okay, I'm ready. Shoot at the orange dot. That green triangle right there in the middle? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I go for it. Well, without any spin, we had a little bit of stability problem there. And that, of course, throws off the accuracy, even at 45 feet. But one and a half ounces traveling around 1,100 feet per second still does a lot of damage. So there it is. We dug it out of the vest. Doug was uh, kind enough to catch it for us. Ounce and a half of lead it flew sideways. You can kind of see here how it hit. Uh, one side of it still got the shape and all the fins on it. The other side all smashed up from where it impacted the vest. So definitely landed sideways into his vest out of a smooth bore. So let's give it a try out of a rifled choke. Just adding a little spin from the rifle choke made all the difference in the world. And you really can't get more accurate than that. Greg did a great job. So, Doug had a little trauma pouch up here, trauma plate added to the front of his vest so it never even got to the main layer of Kevlar because it flew straight and hit him right on the orange dot where it was supposed to this time. I so. thought you I thought you couldn't aim, Greg. Well that's Jeff, that's just an internet myth. Okay. Did you I, get I, it I out placed, there? I think it was dead on accurate. I placed though. third behind Danny, Brianna. <laughs> this thing has melted itself to the Okay, no. Don't move it around so I can zoom in on it. melted itself to the and, Kevlar fibers. And you could tell by that, what's it say on the back? That's an arrow. Did you draw the arrow on that? Oh, I did. I, I drew an arrow on it. You can hide your own I drew Easter all eggs. kinds of stuff. I was hoping people would, you know, I was like. You and Joe Biden can hide your own Easter eggs. <laughs> so you can tell by the squishing, I think is what you were gonna say, that this thing hit pretty much nose first, as opposed to the last one, which hit sideways. This one uh, just needed a little help. That's oh yeah, all. A little little rifled choke. Yeah. Don't we all need a little choke from time to time? <laughs> choke yourself. It's like a little hot pocket. <laughs> okay, legendary lead plate. Legendary. Legendary. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Now on this test we had the spin but not the stability. Not sure why, but definitely see why it threw it off course. It appears that this one hit sideways again, so we don't know exactly what happened. Um, you can see from the slug, if you can zoom in there, the slug has got uh, the pattern on it. You can still see the shape of the uh, little arrow or rocket, Buck Rogers rocket. And you can tell down here, that is a, uh, that's what we call a BAH. It's a big hole right there. And uh, pretty clearly this slug plot into there sideways, stopped, and then kind of bounced back out there. We found it on the ground about 12 feet back from the target. So you remember this one down here from the old knob goblin? Plowing right That's impressive. If you that's haven't seen that. That's impressive right there. 
You don't often Stop. get a, a Friday finger wiggle. <laughs> but made a big giant, uh, big giant crater. The aluminum plate. Let's try for that uh, blue triangle right there. Okay. Wow. In this test, we had good stability. I blame the inaccuracy on Greg. <laughs> and here's something you don't see every day. The slug came to a dead stop. The, the plate swung around and batted it off. Very bizarre. What happened? What did we do wrong? So, <laughs> we did everything wrong. First, we probably didn't strap it down. And science will tell you, if this was only strapped down, that slug would have gone right on through and killed a elk on the other side. <laughs> No, <laughs> we did have this clamp down in some kind of a goofy rigged system down there, but the slug flew a little bit low and right, I think. Smacked into the plate, cracked it, did not punch through all the way, but cracked the aluminum. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So, and then what's kind of more impressive is this over here, if you can kind of zoom in. Oh, Greg. Come on, I, I lure you guys it's, in It's every your time. thing, though, man. Every time I get it, you guys That in. is your, that is the, the Greg finger wiggle people complain, meme. People complain over on OG's Danger Show that there's not enough finger wiggle, but I tell them it's a patented Talflater mouse <laughs> accoutrement. It cannot be. You're more than welcome to use it, though. Do you think so? Yeah. I got to pay special licensing to use no, it? No, no, it's it's the public domain. That's like if Phil Collins wants to go sing a Genesis song somewhere else, he can, uh, he can do it just fine? Absolutely. All right, we always get viewers that say we need to strap down targets or else it's not a valid test. Well, folks, for you, we have strapped this target down with everything unknown to man. There's no way this thing's gonna, there's no way this thing's gonna move much. Anyway, let's see if a slug makes any difference in a strapped down target. Tape, bungees, for the science. clamps, there's probably some glue under there somewhere. A little witchcraft and sorcery in there somewhere. It's all for science. Okay, I think we'll all agree that is strapped down. Yeah, strapped down. This slug doesn't stand a chance. It's going to bounce right off the front of it because that's strapped down. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, we have good stability. The plate's not going to move this time. See, it didn't move at all. About the same damage, maybe even less than the other shot. Thing was strapped down quite there securely. You, there you have it. That was one. Not just one bungee, but two bungees. See, that's a two bungee project right there. <laughs> yeah. Your uh, high-tech NASA clamps. Oh. Uh, this one suffered. It's gone. Those are handy. I need to go to Harbor Freight again. Not this one. This one's now handy for uh, poking holes and stuff. Well, I might be able to fix my edger with that spring. Okay, that's another story. <laughs> So, orange dot was here, it hit a little bit low, cracked the plate, all done, obviously because we had it strapped down. Wait, there's less damage on that one. Because it was strapped down. Because it was strapped down. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to do more damage. Oh, this is all science. Okay. And your lead-filled glove. Don't even ask why we have a lead-filled glove. Oh no, the environment. There's lead in the environment. Okay, that's it, You're, we're all... There's a lot of lead-phobic people out there. They think if you touch lead, you're going to die. They, they think human beings are that fragile. All right, strapping it down. Did it work or did it not? You be the judge. You decide. You decide. <laughs> we had a little fun with you guys on the strapping down party here. It didn't actually do anything, but for those people who always think a target needs to be strapped down, this is about how silly it is right here. Yep. That is science for you, folks. Wow. We were a little surprised. Six jugs of color. That round plowed through all six jugs. It doesn't usually happen. Usually it uh, flattens out and shoots out to a different angle or stops three jugs in and it made it all the way through fortunately we put a couple of panels of Kevlar back here so in this wet vest we found our slightly deformed slug here can you, can you tell how it impacted or it's still kind of in its original shape it's, it's in its original shape on this side if you rotate it around like every story there's two sides Jeff 
I, did, I never heard that before. On this side, it actually it has a little bit of an impact mark. So somewhere along in those water jugs, it probably started to spin a little bit, and it looks like it impacted the vests here kind of at a slight angle, but still nose forward. But That's impressive. It did. Just plowed right through all those things, right into our soppy wet vest. <laughs> so. And here's the first one. A little tell? happy face on there. Oh, okay. Happy face. And it looked like it was dead on accurate. Well, Officer Greg can't shoot. <laughs> Well, Stony Rockefeller downrange. We're gonna try and pop him on the nose. Okay. <laughs> we have yet to even scratch this thing. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, we scratched him. Oh that time. We didn't think that the round was going to do much to old Stony Rockefeller, but uh, it hit him. It didn't hit him in the nose that we thought. It hit him above his left eye. It was close enough to... Cracked him right open. You know, Jeff... Is there any magic inside there? Anything? <laughs> dinosaurs or something? <laughs> no, but again, it's a puzzle for simpletons. How about some ballistic yelly? The cloudy ballistic gel. Yep. It's still... It, it is so much darker out here today i can't even speed up the camera any faster so Maybe hopefully that'll you know at 9,000 frames a second should be good enough for, for what we're doing in this dark dark nasty smoke okay i'm ready when you are ready here we go yikes This was the spot I was aiming in right here. No, it wasn't. No, I was aiming above. Oh. That's the previous hole. Oh, okay. That one right there. <laughs> this one was the one I was aiming at. You can almost see the shape of the slug sideways right there. Yeah. You can actually see it. So I, we believe that this slug probably impacted sideways, even though I was a lot closer this time. And then if you can, I don't know if you can see up here while well, it's still wet, but there's a little bit of a wound track that you can see in there. But we do know that it passed all the way through this slug, this uh, gel, exited out back here. This is not for the kids, folks. Wow. <laughs> exited out there, and these two Kevlar panels caught the slug, and we found it on the ground, kind of deformed. A lot of, a lot of energy. I mean, a lot of energy. With, whether or not it was flying straight or not, it would have been a oh, it's got nasty. Yeah, it's got yeah. tremendous uh, potential. <laughs> It does a lot of damage. Uh, yeah. yeah, which does more damage? You know, something this long going sideways through or something this long going straight through? You decide. How, how long? How long were you talking there? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, probably if we would have strapped the gel down, the round would have fl flown straight. <laughs> Everybody in the comment section last video who wanted to argue that strapping down the target, in fact, does uh, create more damage is... It's not. It, it's science, folks. Go back and look at years and it's years and years. It's almost insignificant because yes. the projectile is going so fast. Right. You can look at any slow mo video that just put up over the years and see that all the impact and all the damage, all the energy is transferred long before that target gets moving. So yeah, it's it because of the it's the the weight of the of the target is many times heavier than the weight of the projectile. It takes a long time to transfer that energy. Yeah to that mass you're punching a balloon in the air yes. right it if seems you're punching like, a, that's that's what they're thinking right it seems like if you 
it's logical to think that if the target was locked down, that the round would hit it and actually burrow in because the target wouldn't go anywhere. But at the speeds we're talking about here, it's inconsistent. I used to think so. that too. You know, it only makes sense. Right. But it it's seems this, like I it's should those be high speeds that it just makes it less yeah. and less significant. Not everything. I don't is think it would be able to measure the difference. I'd probably, if I brought a ruler out here, I'd measure it. Okay. <laughs> as long as it was in centimeters. No, it, there's a lot of things that seem like they should happen, like strapping down gel. I also seems like I should be married to Gal Gadot, but I'm not. So uh, you guys figure that out. Why is that not? Why, why are two things in this universe not possible? So we thank you for joining us out here today. We have one more. Well, I thought you were going to clip this and put it at the end of the video. Oh, okay. You're I, right. Since you're standing here anyway, okay. this is our last round. <laughs> we thank you for joining us out here today, uh, checking out these cool little slugs that came from the Idahoan show. So go check out his channel. It's a very entertaining channel. Guy looks like a young Danny. Um, <laughs> he's quite a personality, and it's not a costume that he's wearing. So anyway, we appreciate you stopping by, and we will see you down here in the comments section and on the next video. And again, don't forget, go check out OG's Danger Show. Link in the description. This just keeps getting better. It does keep getting better. How many better. subscribers do you have now? Like 21,000? Oh, I'm at 22,000. Oh! Yeah, I'm gaining on you, Jeff. I know. You'll be you'll get that 100,000 100, silver plaque oh, here boy. in a year or so, That's probably. That's I can't wait for. I'm right on your heels, though. That's I'm good. Catching up to your 1.25 million really fast. I, I, I think I'm losing subscribers faster <laughs> than you're gaining them. I don't think anybody's losing subscribers these days. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Gaining subscribers very, very slowly, but it's just a fun channel. Stop by and check it out. Yep.